Now, you are one of the judges for an act toy, correct? That's correct. Now, how long have you been a judge and what does that honor mean to you? I've been an act toy judge since the mid 90s, very close to when the NACTOY jury began. And I was a juror for a period of time then and loved it. And then I made the decision to take a break. It's a lot of responsibility that I love, but I was doing racing. Um, I'm an off-road racer and I was doing some things that made me take a break from it. And then I came back about seven years ago and I'm really honored to be a juror. And one of the reasons is I probably have driven 3,000 cars in my automotive career. And I like being able to make a difference in the industry. And this award is not about the prettiest sheet metal. It's not about the sound that comes out of the tailpipe. I could name um, vehicles that fit those categories. It's also not really even about fuel economy, although we pay a lot of attention now to hybrid and the electric market. The intent of the award is to honor the manufacturers who have moved the mass market forward. So that means that if something is a very small market vehicle and very expensive, it's not as likely that that vehicle is going to be selected, although don't be fooled because sometimes the technology in that vehicle has relevance to the mass market. And we see things get carried over and come down into the mass market that started out in a higher priced area. So it's such an honor. Is it easy? No, because I have to put my personal feelings aside and I have to think what are what vehicles in the truck, in the SUV, and in the sedan class have moved the market forward this year. And let's just talk about truck for a second. We have things as diverse as the midsize Chevy Colorado and the GMC Canyon. Those are smaller trucks and the versions that were brought here have a little more off-road technology on them because that's popular today. Therefore, when I drive them on the road, they might be with their bigger tires. They might not be as smooth a ride, but I have to remember that it's part of a portfolio. So there are other vehicles in that portfolio that don't have the off-road add-ons. And then I have to take a look at the Ford Super Duty, which is a great truck. It's been upgraded. It's a mid-cycle refresh for it. And a Super Duty is it used to pretty much always be a work truck. Today, many people are buying it for work but want to make sure that they can take it home to their family. Mostly sold to men, but there are women that are buying it and anyone who buys it wants to, often wants it to be multi-use. And then we have vehicles like the EX30 that I'm going to drive in Spain next week. So I might not drive that while I'm here because I have so many to drive. That's a fascinating small electric SUV. And um, we have hybrid vehicles. I'm going to jump into the Honda Accord Sport Hybrid. We have vehicles here like some of the Mercedes vehicles that are really sporty or the Corvette E-Ray. I mean, what's not sporty about that? It's looks and it's... Um, intent. So as I said, um, I've driven a lot of vehicles. I race off-road myself and do that all over the world. And I come back here each year for this drive. And I want to make sure that I'm being fair to every automaker that has taken the time to bring their vehicle here, maybe brought a um, engineer or a subject matter expert and they have brought their specs, their Monroney for the vehicle. So they've really done their job to educate us as jurors. And then the other thing I want to mention is that many of us will talk to each other. I don't let someone else's thoughts influence my vote, but I will say to some of my fellow jurors, what are you thinking of the field? 
And as you know, from here, we will narrow down three contenders in each of the areas, three trucks, three SUVs, three sedans. And um, then we will have another, yikes, five weeks, month and a half to test those nine if we feel like we need more time. And then they will be graded for second and third in their class. So it's always fun. It's hard because I want many to win. But at the end of the day, I think we'll do a fair job.